Well, <coughs> good morning, uh, YouTubers. And we're uh, we got some work to do today. We're working on uh, oh, we're working on some pens. Um, we still have a great deal of wood to cut up. We have piles like that all over the property. Um, as you can see. Right now, what we're working on today is uh, setting up for the general. Uh-oh, we're being watched. Who is that over there? Oh my goodness, she's all fuzzy. Oh, she's making a run for it. Look out! Yep, she's in with the boys. Yeah. We're, uh-oh, uh what do we got over here? We got Senor Troy. Checking out the wheelbarrow now. He's heading back to his compadre Mist, who's also heading back because they just figured out that Mama is in their pen, and they want to know why is Mama in their pen. There's uh, the old man DeSoto. I know there's two other goats in there, but I think they're hiding. And those two that are hiding are actually the subject of today's workload. The workload today is to continue clearing land, debris pile, more logs, and this is what we're doing today. Yes? Did you say something? Did you want to talk to me? What? Are you eating? Alright. Anyway, what we're doing today is we are setting up for fencing. Um, quite a ways. I don't think you're going to see. We'll walk the whole thing. This is the new area here. This will be for the boar goats. First thing we had to do. What? Yes, 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 buddy. Yes. Yes, yes. What? You can't come out here yet. No, you can't come out here yet. All right. Anyway, get out of the fence. Um, <laughs> we've got, uh, we got one little man gate that's going to go in here. There's the gate there. She'll go into this opening right here. Um, we're anchored. We're setting up the posts. We've gone ahead and set these T posts at uh, 8 feet rather than my traditional 10 feet because of the uh, fact that these are going to be bores and I want a little bit more durability between each one. Um, yeah, uh, that's my debris from yesterday. Um, pretty tall. Oh, what do we have in the... We have a mountain lion. No, it's a pussycat. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're setting T-posts at 8 feet. Uh, we got quite a bit to do here. Um, this is the area we started clearing. We've got some old pens over on that side over there. Uh, you can just barely make out the T-post there, the red one. We have some back there to do. All this stuff here. This here is uh, going to be the run-in. What we're going to do temporarily is run our fencing from up there all the way down to that end down there, covering this entirely because what this is isn't going to be part of the, well, it'll be, the fence will anchor to it, but this is actually going to be the run-in. It's 12 feet wide. It'll be 16 feet deep. Um, this will be the boar's run-in. This will be the opening right here going in. As you can see, I just set a couple of base studs in. Uh, we come on down this way, and what we're going to be doing here is, again, We've got uh, quite a little mess going here. Um, right here in this opening here, that big gate will go here because uh, we're going to open that direction next. I'm doing each paddock in, uh, a, you know, as I can get to each one. So we pre-plan every move. That's why the, uh, the studs over there for the shed. I know this is overkill, 4 by 4s and all that kind of business, but I build something. I build it the last. Oh look, another debris pile. And more logs. <laughs> like I said, they're everywhere. Um, going up this little slant here, this is again 
uh, looking around at what we've got going. Again, we're at eight feet. Here I've got a loose setup here that is uh, uh, not gone into the ground yet because frankly, I don't know which direction I'm gonna pull, but because there's a hill here, you can't really see, but this is a hill right here, slope. So when you're pulling your fence, you're gonna have to accommodate for this angle. So this down here is the base of the angle. So I'm not sure which direction I'm going to originally pull, so I haven't set this uh, brace in yet. I'll do that just before I make the pull. Up here, again, another gate. Yes, I'm a gate crazy kind of guy. Oh look, more wood. Um, again, we've got uh, support studs. And then here will be another gate leading out. Coming down here to my uh, termination with my neighbor. Believe it or not, there's horses over there. Old Buzz, he's working on it. He'll get it. He'll get it. This way here, uh, of course, you know, this is past. That's the pen that they're in now. I've used my neighbor's fencing posts. So they're a little further apart than I would have liked. I also used a lighter wire on the outside here only because I, uh, I like the spacing and it keeps most of the critters to a dull roar. As you can see, we've pre-planned again. This is a, a continuation that way. The actual termination of my land is that post right there. And as you can see, there's fence back there. That's the back side. Unfortunately, right there is a big creek. I gotta get across that, and as you see, my fencing terminates there. I haven't even stretched this section. I stretched the primary section first. I guess I should back off on this so you don't get seasick me moving. So, that's our plan today, is to continue on as you, I've still got a lot of trees. I got trees everywhere. That, several I got to bring down but I want to get the goats in here so they can start helping me basically they clean the debris up for me um, and in the meantime we will uh, continue on our way I do have a small note this is kind of cool I don't know if you can see this but see that hole a lot of trees around here are like that and what's in there if you can just barely make it out is it's full of water these tree stumps have these little deals. There's, they're everywhere where two trees grew together and so forth. Um, and they have these little reservoirs of water. Uh, of course, that's great for the mosquitoes, but uh, I just thought it was cool. Anyway, uh, so that's what we're doing. Got my screws. I'm working right here. Uh, yeah, I use screws when I do fencing because... That way I can adjust, take a piece off here, take a piece off there, move it around if I have to. We all make mistakes, just got to be prepared to fix it. Uh, I didn't go this way any further because that's the creek bed again, meandering through my property. There is a fence back there, way back there. In fact, you can see another pile of debris right there. See if she focuses. Yeah, way, way back there. That pile is about 15, 20 feet this side of my fence. Um, eventually, I got to drag that all up. Anyway, that's it. I got things to do. Um, I will talk to you again shortly.